right. Hi, I'm Father Joe Krupp, pastor at Holy Family in Grand Blank in St. Mark and Goodrich, and I'm here to drink coffee and answer your questions. And guess what? I'm all out of coffee. Let's get into it. So, top question is, Father Joe, I recently saw your video where you answered a question about whether it is normal to be afraid to die. If I feel the thought of dying as causing me anxiety and I feel I should speak to someone, with whom should I speak? A priest, a specific type of counselor? So if I feel the thought of dying as causing me anxiety, okay. I think I get it. The question is, if fearing death is causing me anxiety, what should I do? Right? Um, scripture has this great line, and I think it's Second Peter, but it could be First, where it says, "Cast your cares on Him, because He cares for you." And it's the idea that when we have fears, uh, we're supposed to give them to the Lord. Jesus very regularly says, "Do not be afraid." Now, I can be a fearful person, and so I, I have uh, an understanding of that idea. I think you might want to talk to somebody close to you to see if the anxiety is a problem, right? There's normal anxiety that we give to our Lord, and then there's clinical anxiety where we need some help to get through that. And uh, I would definitely talk to uh, your spouse uh, or your mom and dad or, or someone who has a lot of contact with you who can kind of help you walk through it to see if this is a normal fear or anxiety or an anxiety that can be addressed by prayer or to see if this is something you need to take to a, a pro level, right? Another great uh, thing, if you have it in your parish, we're so blessed to have this here. Um, there's a ministry called Unbound. And it's uh, people who will, oh, and my watch agrees with that because it dinged when I said unbound. So uh, clearly, uh, no, but uh, prayer, um, not just you praying, but having people pray over you um, might be a good idea. So it does depend on what we're talking about here with anxiety. If you're starting to feel crippled by it, yeah, pop in, talk to your priest or see if there's a ministry in your church that can help. Um, talk to the people near you, see if this is something that um, you need to take up a notch, okay? Uh, and in the meantime, we ask that Jesus help you be at peace and help you to take each instance of worry and give it to him. Um, if you get a chance, read John 14, 1 through 6. Uh, Jesus says, um, let me think, do not let your hearts be troubled or afraid. You have faith in God, have faith in me. In my Father's house, there are many dwelling places. And this is why I go ahead of you to prepare a place for you. And if I go ahead of you and prepare a place for you, then I'll come back and take you with me so that where I am, you also may be. I, I love that image of our God going ahead of us every day. Um, yay. So, all right, let's get after the next one. We're going to go with the skinny one. Is someone with ego about themselves considered pride? Uh, okay, I'm not sure. Uh, okay, here's pride. Pride is self-obsession. Pride is a uh, insertion of our self into everything. Uh, pride is uh, a sin. It was the first sin. It'll probably be the one that ends the whole thing. Um, but uh, being confident in your work, um, it's receiving praise for jobs well done. That's not, well, that's what I call holy pride. Uh, <coughs> that's what I call a cough. Uh, I made that word up myself. And see, that was a prideful thing to say. Uh, so I'm not sure. You know, ego, if, if we're talking about confidence, I'm good at this thing, and other people have pointed that out to me, that's not sinful. Um, that's not... Uh, necessarily a sinful pride. If it's uh, we require credit, and if we don't get credit, we freak, that's pride. If other people getting credit causes us to panic or feel insecure, that's pride. Um, lots and lots and lots there. Uh, Saint, not Saint, oh dear Lord. C.S. Lewis put it this way uh, that in talking about humility. Humility is not thinking less of yourself. It's thinking of yourself less. Um, and I think that's a good, sure way to look at pride. So 
Hope that's helpful. How blessed are you to hear about pride from me? Really the humblest person God ever made. And look for my upcoming book, Humility and How It Made Me Great. Sure to be a bestseller. So uh, thanks for tuning in. If you've got any more questions, please be sure and submit them to the Church of the Holy Family Facebook page. And we'll get right after them. In the meantime, thank you for sharing these videos with each other. Thanks for watching it. We're so blessed. We'll see you next time.